Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to take your domain that you bought from GoDaddy and actually create an account. I use cPanel, which, and I would suggest that you use a hosting company that has cPanel. So once they send you your welcome email, they'll send you all your login details, all the name server details, and then you can get started with this right away. So we're inside cPanel and now we're just going to create a new account. So right here where it says account functions, just go to create new account. Okay, now on the domain information, we want to put in the domain that we bought. It's going to automatically create the username. If you don't want that for the username, you can you can change this to something else. And then you can set your password to whatever you want. We'll just use something generic here. What you want to do is, is copy this so you'll, you'll remember it because you're going to need this information when you set up your FTP to uh, upload your site. So what I usually like to do is just copy that to a notepad file and I'll do that now. Okay, I've just brought up my notepad file. And then if you want to you can actually put in the username too just to remind you in case you lose it and then for your FTP you might as well put that too your FTP is going to be your site name most of the time alright now we have all the information saved we can just minimize that Okay, here you just want to put the domain that's, that you have associated with this site. Here everything's pretty much already configured for you. The only thing I don't like to do is the shell access, so I just uncheck that. Now your cPanel might be slightly different. This cPanel is a cPanel for a virtual dedicated server. Um, but the regular cPanels work pretty similar. It, actually in a, in a standard cPanel it may be a little bit easier to create your your domain. But it's going to be something similar to this right here. So we've got everything ready. Now we just want to click on create. Okay, everything is ready on this now. <clears throat> it's also going to send you an email to your contact email with all the, with all of your password, username, and all that good stuff. So you'll also have a copy of your email in case you lose your notepad file that we created. So that's it. That's exactly how you uh, go into cPanel and create your uh, your hosting for your new resale rights domain.